everybody. I thought I would take the uh, video camera out instead of my cell phone and record walkies with Betty today. See if maybe it's a little bit better resolution. Certainly better than the um, good dog. Certainly better than the resolution of the uh, Facebook live stream because I live out here in the middle of nowhere. The live stream is sketchy at best. Comes across in a pretty low resolution. So, yeah, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's snowing here right now. So I'm gonna turn this thing around so you guys can see. Yeah, a little Betty dog. Say hi, Betty dog. Say hello, Betty. Good girl. It's a beautiful day in the Brightwood Bayou. Look down here in the swamp, among all the iron moss that's in there, you'll see these little spikes coming up here. That's skunk cabbage. That means spring's coming. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what in the world's going on with uh, my focus here, but there we go. There we go. Oh, pops back again. Yeah, I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to use this video camera. It's a Canon. Maybe that's the problem, huh? <laughs> I should have a Nikon video camera. Things are going good. I just uh, sat through three different uh, jobs that I had to process some photos for. It gives me a lot of ass time behind the computer screen, so... Part of a photographer's job that is kind of behind the scenes isn't seen very much, and a lot of people think, wow, sure it'd be nice to be a photographer and go out and photograph all this beautiful scenery. And but there's a lot of preparation. You gotta be prepared when you go out. You gotta have all your gear ready. You have to have, uh, you have to have everything uh, ready to go. You have to get out there. You have to probably go out at least 10 times before you get out there right at the right time. So a lot of, a lot of time involved there. And then when you get back, you have to sort through your photos, pick out the good ones, throw away the bad ones, process them, because we don't let the camera or the or a computer program do it automatically for us, do we? We, we want to have control over our fo photos. That's right. And we're uh, just taking photographs and letting the camera do it. In other words, if we're just shooting on automatic and we're shooting JPEGs, we're actually letting a engineer in Tokyo process our photos for us. And that engineer wasn't there that day, so he, all he can do is give some general settings for the processing and then let her go. So, rarely does the processing really reflect what either your artistic vision for that scene was or many times how that scene actually looked. So, you were there, so why rely on a computer algorithm to manipulate the raw data that you acquired with your camera that day to create a photograph? Instead, Shoot raw, bring it in the light room, make your own adjustments. So, it's not disingenuous, it's not cheating, none of that kind of stuff because your camera is shooting, all it's doing is collecting digital data. It's creating digital data, it's not creating a photograph. The camera has to process that digital data into a photograph. 
And so, like I said, you can either allow your camera to do it for you, or you can just take the bull by the horns and do it yourself. If you do it yourself, what do you think I was going to step on you, Biddy? If you do it yourself, you can certainly add a little bit of artistic expression into it. Be creative if you care to. Or you can certainly just make it any way you want. And that's the beauty of it. Anyway. So I encourage anybody that's an enthusiast or would like to be an enthusiast, be it a photographer or a hobbyist photographer or somebody that wants to uh, somehow shoot full time in the future to learn how to set your camera up on manual, shoot raw, learn how to use a histogram, learn how to focus properly, learn some composition, try to learn enough compositional standards for composition to become a instinct. In other words, when you're driving down the road, you're looking around, everything pops into some sort of a a composition. That happens to me. I'll be driving down the road and things, the scene just seems to fall into some sort of a, a photography, a composition for a photograph or something. I don't know. But anyway, composition, some people just seem to have the vision. They're born with it. Other people develop it. And uh, so I encourage everybody to follow the photographers you admire the most and uh, observe what they do how they do it ask them questions if they'll communicate with you yeah and just keep taking pictures so look at the moss the snow sitting there on the moss sitting on the trees it's a beautiful day So anyway, I appreciate everybody's support. Springtime's on its way. Springtime takes away a lot of excuses for taking photographs, so here comes a car. I'm going to call this quits. Take care, everybody. Thanks for your support. Thanks for everything. Bye.